The Peoria Rivermen are back on home ice, and they'll have three games in four days this weekend at home against the Evansville Thunderbolts. Hello, everyone. I'm Andrew Mossbricks, and this is the Power Play pregame show presented by our good friends at Homefield Energy. The Rivermen took one of three games last weekend with a win over Knoxville in overtime Sunday. They were able to salvage a 3-3, three and three, which included a loss the night prior to the Ice Bears, and Friday night in Evansville, the Thunderbolts were able to shut out Peoria 2-0. Brian Billett made 45 saves in goal for Evansville to get the team's first shutout in franchise history against the Rivermen and their first regulation win of the season and over Peoria. Today is meeting eight of 10 on the season between these clubs. They'll wrap up their season series Sunday afternoon here inside Carver Arena. The Rivermen have points in six of the seven previous meetings with Evansville. However, it's the Thunderbolts that have skated away with wins in three of the last four meetings. For the Rivermen to get a win tonight, they're gonna be without the services of a number of key players due to ECHL call-ups just over the last few days. Brandon McMartin headed to the Orlando Solar Bears. A couple days later, Jake Hamilton a fellow defenseman going to the Kansas City Mavericks and the very next day Alec Bear who was the team's top center in terms of point production was sent to the Newfoundland Growlers so the Rivermen without key pieces in their lineup they're going to try and forge a roster that can still compete with a very fast Evansville Thunderbolts team because this hockey club is still a very good team even without those three pieces however Jean-Guy Trudel did try to bring some reinforcements in so forward Nathan Pelligra comes to the Rivermen from FPHL Battle Creek, but he did begin the training camp of his 2019-2020 campaign right here in Peoria. Played a preseason game here in Carver Arena. So Polygra has some familiarity with the team and he'll see if he can slot into that third line center role with the club here tonight. Eric Levine is going to get the start in goal. He's got 17 wins on the season. He is tied with Huntsville's Max Milosic for the league lead in SPHL wins for goaltenders. Puck drop inside Carver Arena is at 6.45. It's turn back the clock night. Upper level tickets are just $8 and we have select lower bowl seating starting at 10 bucks. Call 309 670 610 to get your tickets. If you can't make it out, our puck drop is at 6.45 with a pregame show starting on the air at 6.30 on SBHL Live and Mixler.